Let the thunder of a hundred cannon remind you three times daily to resist the force of habit. There are two ways to be fooled. One is to believe what isn't true. The other is to refuse to accept what is true. Lord, give us weak eyes for things of little worth and eyes clear-sighted in all of your truth. God creates everything out of nothing. And everything which God is to use, he first reduces to nothing. People say the good Lord fills the stomach before the eyes. I haven't noticed. My eyes have had enough and I am weary of everything, and yet I hunger. Shows itself in the notion that, what may be objectively, true may in the mouth of certain people, become false. The greatest hazard of all, losing oneself, can occur very quietly in the world, as if it were nothing at all. Subjectivity is truth and if subjectivity is in existing, then, if I may put it this way, Christianity is a perfect fit. He who will not pass through this curriculum is helped very little by the fact that he was born in the most enlightened age. The proud person always wants to do the right thing, the great thing. But because he wants to do it in his own strength, he is fighting not with man, but with God. Only the eternal is always appropriate and always present, is always true. Only the eternal applies to each human being. He who loves God without faith reflects upon himself. He who loves God believingly reflects upon God. None has more contempt for what it is to be a man than those who make it their profession to lead the crowd. To despair over oneself, in despair to will to be rid of oneself, this is the formula for all despair. Only in much fear and trembling is a human being able to speak with God in much fear and trembling. Imitation, which corresponds to Christ as prototype, must be advanced, be affirmed, be called to our attention. How sterile my soul and my mind are, and yet constantly tormented by empty, voluptuous and excruciating labor pains. Neither can one who wills the good do so out of fear of punishment. In essence, this is the same thing as willing the good for the sake of a reward. People's thoughts are as thin and fragile as lace, and they themselves as pitiable as lace-making girls.